Quick match, quick match, quick match. Chuji Kaz de Kidogo. Quick match, quick match, kindly. In a short while, the Nairobi Division will be saluting our international leaders. Nairobi Division is almost. This is Territorial Youth Band, the Territorial Youth Band. The Territorial Youth Band. Behind them is Nairobi Division, the Territorial Youth Band, and right behind them is Nairobi Division. Territorial Youth Bands, I will go in the strength of the law. And then Nairobi Division, under the leadership of Major Titus and Damaris Chengo. Nairobi Division. Nairobi Division.
All these divisions are within Kenya East Territory, which is led by Kenos, Daniel, and Anne Kiama, the territorial commander and the territorial president of women's ministries. Everyone wants to salute the international leader of the Salvation Army, the general and the world president of women's ministry. This is Nairobi Division. Nairobi Division. The division within the CBD. Nairobi Division. Nairobi Division. Thank God that the stadium is almost full. This is the doing of the Lord. Nairobi, Nairobi Division. Nairobi Division. Almost done. Nairobi Division. And then behind them is Kangundo East District. Kangundo East District is just behind them. This is Salvation Army Kenya East Territory. And now we have Kangundo East District. Kangundo East District. Mtoto Destiny Matete Yuko Hapa. Mama Kenny Caroline. Destiny Mate. East Districts. of Majors Peter and Agnes Zhao.
Kangundo East District. And behind there you can see a team of four people. I will introduce them in a short while. This is Runyenges District Division. Runyenges Division. Runyenges Division. Under the leadership of Majors Benson and Dorothy Kiamba. Runyenges Division. And behind them is Territorial Ladies Band. Territorial Ladies Band. This is Westlands Division, Westlands Division, under the leadership of Majors Good Enough and Nokutula Kati, Westlands Division. It's another division within Nairobi City, Westlands Division. Westlands Division. This is Westlands Division under the leadership of Major Scotty. Westlands Division. And now we have Ethiopia Outreach. Ethiopia Outreach. Under the leadership of Captains David and Stella Mongela. 
Ethiopia outreach. They are here with us today. Ethiopia outreach. Thank you. And then these are our workers, officers, children, and some are officers already. They are officers, children, and some of them have also become officers. A Salvation Army officers, children. Association. And behind them, we have a team that is portraying the army we used to have those days. The kind of uniform we used to wear. The kind of drums we used, even the flag. That is where we are coming from, and here we are, we thank God. This is SAMFU, Salvation Army Medical Fellowship, Salvation Army Medical Fellowship members are with us here. They're saluting our international leaders. These are the last two groups. The scouts, scouts kindly, scouts. Scouts, hurry up, scouts, hurry up. Scouts, scouts, hurry up, please. These are scouts from within the Salvation Army, from our various divisions, districts. They are saluting our international leaders. This is purely Kenya East Territory. Kenya Scouts. We have two more groups. We have the recruits who are ready to be sworn in today as soldiers of the Salvation Army. They will salute our global leaders this morning. The recruits who have been 
undergoing recruit class for some time. Now they are about to salute our international leaders. In front of them is a recruiting sergeant who has been taking them through the recruits' lessons. These are all recruits, Salvation Army recruits. These are all recruits, and behind them, the last group, are our ushers. Our ushers, most of them are officers, and others are soldiers, led by the D.C. vicar, Captain Leonard Ndonga. These are our ushers, who will be helping in keeping order in our meeting today. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We are done. We are done. Thank you. Now the leaders will be coming. In a short while, our leaders will be coming to the pulpit, ready for the meeting this day. This is a wonderful day that the Lord has made, that we should be glad and we should rejoice in celebrating a hundred years of Salvation Army existence in Kenya, serving God and serving the suffering humanity. Thank you so much, band. Thank you so much for your wonderful play in this meeting. We thank God for you. Ushers, kindly make sure everyone is seated. We don't want to see people walking around during the meeting. We want everyone to be calm. 
so that we can have a blessed meeting. Kama una bendera yako weka mahali ambapo pengine zimewekwa kando ya ule ukuta ambao umewekwa ile ua weka hapo na tafadhali niombe tusikanyange nyasi ni vizuri asante bantu tunaweza kuendelea kucheza viongozi wetu wameingia naomba tafadhali tunaweza kusimama viongozi wetu wameingia asante Bantu tunaweza kuendelea kucheza tunapongojea kiongozi wa kimataifa pamoja na kiongozi wa territory wanapo Bantu tuendelee kucheza Ukijihisi utuwezi kusimama kwa muda mrefu naweza kukaa kidogo nitakwambia tena usimame Bantu Give us a tune Ngependa tutulie mahali tulipo bandu wanapoleta wimbo wao Tutambua kuna uwepo wa wageni maalum ambao watatambulishwa baadaye kwa hivyo tukae kimya ili neno lolote lisitupite Kindly let's settle somewhere. Band, give us a tune. Na viongozi wetu wa kimataifa watakapo kuwa wakiingia, nitawauliza kusimama kwa heshima. Tukumuheshimu Mungu na pia kuwaheshimu viongozi wetu ambao Mungu amewateua kuongoza jeshi la wokovu ulimwenguni kote na pia katika ya territory yetu naomba hema hii tutulie hema hii kuna kelele sana Ema hii tutulie. Naomba zote tusimame tunaheshimu wale viongozi wetu wa kimataifa. Generali wetu wa jeshi la wokovu anayeongoza inji zaidi ya 134 ulimwenguni kote.
Karibu Karibu viongozi wetu Viongozi wetu wa kimataifa anawasalimia viongozi wetu akiwepo kiongozi wa taifa hili Mheshimiwa Rais wetu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Uhuru huyu ambaye anaitwa Dr. William Samoei Ruto Sante. Bwana Yesu nasifiwe. Haleluya. Basi nafahamu kila mmoja wenu anayo bendera ile yetu ndogo. Naomba uitoe maana hiyo tutaitumia leo katika ibada hii yetu ya mwisho baada ya kuanza sherehe zetu tarehe
celebrate the present and envision the future. Amen. Beloved congregation, as I say, welcome to the Circular Assembly. As we unite to celebrate a century of unwavering dedication to God and humanity, today we stand on the shoulders of giants, commemorating the profound impact of the Salvation Army in East Africa. Friends, we are not just celebrating as Kenya, we are talking of Kenya, Uganda, and Tanzania. But today, it's Kenya's territory. In the annals of history, few tales resonate with as much fervor and compassion as that of the Salvation Army in East Africa. From its sambo beginning, it has etched in edible, in edible narrative of resilience, empathy, and unyielding commitment. Let us reflect on the vision of Colonel J. Alistair Smith and Major Pitts whose audacious spirit ignited the flame of Salvation Army in Kenya in 1921. Their pioneering endeavors laid the foundation for a movement characterized, characterized by both spiritual favor and practical service, commemorating milestones as we journey through time. Let us pause to commemorate the Silver Jubilee of 1945, a testament to unprecedented expansion and growth. This by, by vital movement marked not only numerical and financial strides, but also profound spiritual awakening across the region. We acknowledge with gratitude the harmonious collaboration between the Salvation Army and the East African countries. A partnership rooted in mutual respect and shared goals. Together, we have witnessed the transformation power of unity in service. Milestones of triumph from the inception of the school for the blind to the recognition of long-serving officers. Let us celebrate the myriad milestones achieved by the Salvation Army in East Africa. Each accomplishment bears witness to historic commitment to human development. In the historic appointment of Joshua Commissioner, the late Commissioner Joshua Ngugi, as the first African territorial commander, we witness a paradigm shift towards inclusivity and indigenous leadership. His legacy continues to inspire generations guiding us towards a future of equality and empowerment. As we look to the horizon, let us embrace the spirit of expansion and innovation that defines the Salvation Army in Kenya. We establish some distinct territories. We affirm our commitment to localize the impact and sustainable growth. Variety Village stands as a shining beacon of inclusivity and innovation, offering hope and opportunity to the marginalized. Let us uphold its mission as a statement of transformative, transformative power of compassion and empowerment. In conclusion, let us carry forward the legacy of the Salvation Army with renewed vigor and unwavering faith May the flames of hope, love, and salvation continue to burn brightly, illuminating the path towards the future, filled with promise and service. So, my friends, let our worship today be a reflection of gratitude for the past, dedication to the present, and anticipation for the future. Let us lift our voices and hearts in praise, knowing that through faith and compassion, we can continue to make a difference in the life of those around us. Everybody say, Amen. Let's go to praise.
and worship. Thank you.
Twakushukuru bwana Mungu kwa ajili ya kutuongoza. Twakushukuru bwana Mungu kwa ajili ya kututoa sehemu mbalimbali. Mbali. Umetuleta katika uwanja huu. Tuweze kukuabudu, tuweze kukuinua, tuweze kusema haleluya kwa maana umetufikisha wakati huu na majura haya. Na waombea washiriki wote na waombea wanaokovu wote ambao wamefika katika uwanja huu siku ya leo Bwana uweze kuwaonekania na kuwatendea mema Mfalme uishie milele toleta nchi yetu ya Kenya mikononi mwako tukimkumbuka president wetu pamoja na cabinet yake wanapoongoza nchi hii tusiwaone wao Mbali tuone roho wako mtakatifu akitawala, akiongoza, akiwainua na kuwapitisha katika mitego mibaya ya yule mwao shetani. Mungu wetu baba wetu, twaombea viongozi wetu wa Cheltry, tunaombea kono pamoja na mke wake tukiwakabili mikononi mwako. Kama viongozi wetu wa Cheltry tunawaombea uwepo wako na nguvu zako zikawe juu yao wanapotoka wanaporudi uwepo wako na nguvu zako zikawe juu yao tuwakabidhi mikononi mwako hata pamoja na cabinet yake tunawaombea roho wako mtakatifu atawale roho wako mtakatifu akawaangazie roho wako mtakatifu akawe pamoja na wao wanapotuongoza tunaombea kiongozi wetu wa mataifa ulimwenguni wote general pamoja na mke wake na wakabili mikononi mwako uwepo wako na nguvu zako zikawe juu yao walipoingia tangu e, mwezi ambao umepita na sasa tuko nao wakifikia kelele cha celebration hizi na waombea Neema na baraka zikaweze kuwa juu yao. Ukawaonekanie, ukawatendee wanapozunguka nchi nzima kwa ajili ya kuhubiri neno lako. Kaa pamoja nao, tutakapoona mwisho wao wakituletea neno lako, tutasema jina la Bwana na linuliwe. Wengi waje katika kiti cha rehema kusema shetani kwa heri saliwa katika miaka hii waliokuwa wazee walitangulia na wakatuachia mwongozo ndipo pale bwana tunatembea katika mwongozo huo ndipo pale jeshi letu limefika mahali limefika twazidi kusema neema ya bwana ikakae na viongozi wetu neema ya bwana ikakae na jeshi letu neema ya bwana ikakae na wakina wokofu sitaweza kusahau mahali jeshi lilianzia pale taru katika division ya Mombasa waliotangulia walipanda mbegu njema na mbegu hiyo imezaa vizazi na vizazi ndipo pale nasi tuko kati ya vizazi hivyo tunaomba mfalme uishie milele inua jeshi hili inua jeshi lako wengi wakaweze kutubu na kukiria kwamba Yesu ni mwokozi sitasahau kuombea viongozi wa sehemu na wilaya bwana uwabariki wana juhudi kubwa kule katika sehemu zao pamoja na maafisa wao wakitafuta roho za watu wakitafuta nafsi za watu Kristo mwana wa Mungu nenda ukawe pamoja nao ukawaonekanie na ukatendee mema hatutasahau kuombea shule zetu za primary school na secondary school pamoja na kazi za huduma naomba neema na baraka zako zikawe juu yao twaomba kwa ajili ya waimbaji wetu wa vijana akina mama wazee young junior homelik na wote kwa jumla na waombea neema zikawe pamoja na wao twasema asante mfalme tushushie roho wako mtakatifu
mtakatifu ili apate kuonekana kwa kila mmoja wetu. Tuzungumze kwa lugha tukijua ya kwamba baada ya maisha yetu katika ulimwengu huu tutaweza kuona ulimwengu wa mbinguni. Twaomba katika mkutano huu baraka zako zimimimine. Twaomba katika mkutano huu uwepo wako na nguvu zako zikaonekane katika mkutano huu. Na tukiona mwisho tumebarikiwa kusema shetani kwa heri na Yesu karibu. Shukurani itakuwa kwako. Twaomba hayo na kisha twauliza katika jina lake Yesu ambaye ni Bwana kisha mwokozi wa maombi yetu. Asante sana retired kano Joyce Ndwiga kwa kuongoza maombi. Sasa wale wana matari muingie kwa uwanja maana sasa na wale ambao wanahusika kwa ajili ya wimbo huu tunaoongozwa na Lieutenant Kano Catherine Mutune anapokuja mwanza kuingia kwa uwanja kama vile mmepanga kwa ajili ya wimbo huo na naomba baada ya hiyo sitasimama tena naomba ibada ipate kuendelea bila mimi kusimama isipokuwa kati nitaulizwa kusimama kuweza kuwatambua viongozi wetu wa kimataifa karibu Lieutenant Kano Haleluya. Bwana Yesu na asifiwe. Ni nafasi iliyo njema tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ni kwa ajili ya umbali ambao ameweza kufikisha kanisa letu. Tufungue wimbo katika programs zetu. Bench number 26, wimbo namba tano. wimbo wa mwanzilishi wa jeshi la wokovu. Tutaongozwa nao band. Kuna vile wataweza kuwa wakituongoza katikati watakuwa nafasi wananyamaza halafu tutaweza kujiunga pamoja na wao. Na tusimame.
Thank you for a beautiful singing. Santeni sana kwa uimbaji mzuri. And just before I welcome and acknowledge you, kabla niweze kuwakaribisha, I want to tell us all that there is the Salvation Army Medical Fellowship right by my left to that extreme. Please feel free to access 
that assistance kwa hivyo ni bora pia uweze kuwa na nafasi ya kutembelea mahali pale and if something is missing ikiwa kuna jambo linalopotea please we have the information desk quite close to that same area kuna dawati ambayo ni ya huduma ya kuhudumia yote yule mahala pale tu pia if you can report to those people with yellow band they will direct you to where that information desk is wale asha sukiwaona watakuelekeza mahali pale allow me to welcome and acknowledge you all to the grand finale of our centenary celebration niruhusu niweze kuwatambua kila mmoja wenu katika sherehe zetu za centenary ambazo tunazo your excellencies here present rais wetu a special guest of honor wageni waheshimiwa and all other protocols observed tukiwa tumeheshimu nyasi zote we are blessed and very privileged to have you here tunafurahia na tunabarikiwa kuwa nanyi mahali hapa just a little bit about the salvation army kenya east territory kidogo tu kuzungumzia jeshi la okovu katika kenya mashariki we have over 97000 registered members in the salvation army we call them soldiers tuna askari ambao ni wakristo zaidi ya 1997 katika jeshi la okovu kenya mashariki we have over 67000 junior soldiers tuna askari vijana ambao ni vijana na watoto zaidi ya 1067 and over 4000 recruits na pia wale ambao wako katika class ama kujifundisha zaidi ya 1400 some of them will be sworn in this morning baadhi yao wataapishwa siku ya leo and these people are found in 31 commands other churches call it parishes wana hawa wote wanapatikana katika sehemu na wilaya la na moja katika makanisa mengine uzitaitwa parokia others are in others are serving in our social institutions wengine wako katika shule zetu za huduma and others at the officers training college na wengine wako katika chuo cha maafisa and the rest are at the territorial headquarters na wale wengine wako katika makao makuu pale karen also we have our retired officers pia tunao maafisa wa stahafu I know some of them are seated with us here. Wengine wao tumekaa na wao mahali hapa. We welcome you. Tawakaribisha. Because I will not be able to mention you by your groupings. Sitaweza kuwataja kwa vikundi vyenu. May I ask that you extend as usual a warm handshake of fellowship. Nyosha mkono wako kwa ushirika to one another kwa yule mwingine because we are together in this kwa sababu tuko pamoja katika safari hii and our journey will end in heaven na safari yetu itakomea kule mbinguni and that is why we greet with a finger up ndio sababu tunainua kidole ama kupiga saluti kusema kwamba let this thing end in heaven ili jambo likamilikie mbinguni please greet one another salimia mwenzako kwa mkono mwambie karibu sana welcome sante it costs nothing to give a smile ukimpata basamu hakuna kile ambacho utapoteza thank you asante ni We welcome and acknowledge our guest. Tunataka tutambue wageni wetu. I have a long list here but I'm not going to mention the name except very few. Sitaweza kuwataja majina moja kwa yule mwingine. I would like to start with the director and the management of Ulinzi Sports Complex Nataka nianze na ule mwelekezi anayesimamia Ulinzi Complex Colonel J M Masai please where are you Kanali Masai 
Okay, I know there are some officers that are representing him here. We want to say to you, thank you so much for giving us this beautiful facility. We appreciate your cooperation with the Salvation Army. Thank you. Let me also acknowledge the Inspector General of Police and, and other officers of the Kenya Police Force who have been so helpful to us. We appreciate you. I want to also acknowledge those from the interreligious faith starting with the most reverend Dr. Timothy Ndambuki is a chairman national council of churches of Kenya NCCK. and also we have Reverend Father Joseph Mutie, Pia tunai, Reverend Father Joseph Mutie, the Chairman of Interreligious Council of Kenya. Ambana Simamia. Thank you. Kanzo interreligious. Allow me also to acknowledge our officers from Kenya East Territory. You've been wonderful bringing our people here. Thank you so much. We have also members of the pastoral K of the territorial headquarters. Could you stand for recognition? Because that is our constituency. Thank you. We have also command leaders from the 31 commands. I know you are here. Please could you stand? We acknowledge you. Thank you for all that you are doing. For the success of this occasion. Please. Welcome our retired officers, except the leaders who were part of this territory, who led this territory in the past. Retired officers, where are you? I know you are here. Lakini wale viongozi wanaweza keti kwanza. Maafisa wa staffu, simameni tafadhali, tuatambue. Thank you, thank you for coming. Asanteni kwa ujio wenu. Yes, we come to the territorial headquarters leadership. We have the territorial secretary for women's ministries, Lieutenant Colonel Glory. We have Glory Ayanam. And in Kenya East, we have our own first lady too. Pia tuna mama wetu wa kwanza katika Kenya Mashariki who is the territorial president of women's ministry. Ambani raisi wa vyama vya wanawake. Please welcome Colonel Ann Kiyama. Tumkaribishe mama Kanali Ann Kiyama. We have as far as the Salvation Army Kenya East is concerned Pia tunaye katika Kenya Mashariki is our leader Please welcome Colonel Daniel Kiyama. Daniel Daniel Kiyama. At this stage, I want to humbly hand over to him. Sasa hivi nataka niweze kumparatiba. And he will continue with the rest. Na atalekeza pale pale salia. Asante karibu. Ah, uh, thank you, Chief. Maybe nobody has in as 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 acknowledge you. Let's acknowledge the Chief Secretary. Left that corner Friday, I am. Um, to you, President, Friday, this I am. is the chief. Can you stand together with Mama? These officers are officers from Nigeria. 
They've been serving in Kenya for the last two years. And we are glad because this is the Salvation Army. We are international. Now, quickly, because of time, we want to acknowledge the retired leaders, please. Colonel Joyce Ndiga, retired TPWM, retired in Ghana territory, coming from Kenya. Thank you. Let's have commissioners. Okay, before I go to the commissioners, Henry, let me have remembered Lieutenant Colonel uh, Nashun and Ziboranjiro, retired chief secretaries from Ghana territory. Thank you. They retired. They are from Kenya, but they. That's where they retired the last time. And then we have Commissioner Henry, retired Commissioner Henry. I was looking where you are, sorry. Henry and uh, Catherine Nyaga, they retired here in Kenya East. Thank you for your coming. And then we have a territorial commander who is very unique and retired. And looking where Commissioner Nzenze is. Where are you, Baba? <laughs> Commissioner Nzenze is right here with us. Let's clap for him. This man, this officer is unique in Kenya East because he served from when it was Kenya, Uganda. If I've not forgotten, and then Kenya, and when it was created, Kenya East and Kenya West. He is, we are celebrating him as the first territorial commander of Kenya East Territory. We salute you, Baba and Mama. Please, Mama, just rise up. We salute you and give thanks to you in your retirement. He was also my tutor, side and curriculum in 1989-1990. I don't look old, but thank God for that. Governor, our governor, Honorable His Excellency, the governor of Nairobi, of Nairobi County. I salute you. Please, we, work. we also acknowledge you and welcome you. You can just stand and the people once more, they'll greet you. Let's greet again our governor. Thank you. Last, the president, I'll not ask you to stand, but I want the people to welcome you again. We feel honored. This is the first meeting we are having a president in our meeting. And we are asking you, let, not, let it not be the last time. I'll be coming to you later through the protocol that I'm supposed to come to you. Thank you. Now, we're going to have a Bible reading. And I'm asking Mejang Guru, come here and give us a Bible reading. And once it's done, before you do that, just, just stand there, just stand there. Let me just do now the welcome of our world president, of our general, and then after the Bible reading, the general will be coming to give us the word of God. So, friends, and all people who are gathered here, we have our guests for the celebration of 100 years, which we know he went to Kenya West and he had time to celebrate there and on 26th this in the month of February they traveled back again in Nairobi to celebrate the same centenary celebrations now friends with our flags and all kinds of shouting thanking God putting hands together to welcome a general Lyndon Bankingham Together with World Prison Women Ministry, Commissioner Brownie Bunkingham. Let's keep clapping them. Let's keep on, keep on, keep on welcoming them. And then any kushangiri na mziki na kelele. Viongozi wetu wa kima taifa. Viongozi wetu wa kima taifa ndiyo hao. Wale tufiki asante ni sana. Asante ni sana mungu wa bariki sana. Thank you. Let's have a Bible reading.
uh, Bwana Sifiwe Somo letu la siku ya leo uh, Kitabu ni walaka wa kwanza wa Petelo Mlango wa pili Waliona Biblia tufungue Biblia zetu Katika kitabu cha walaka wa kwanza wa Petro Mlango wa pili Walaka wa kwanza wa Petro mlango wa pili stari wa tisa and 12 Biblia inasema hivi katika walaka wa kwanza wa Petro mlango wa pili stari wa tisa and 12 Bari ninyi ni mzao mteule Ukuani wa kifarme taifa takatifu watu wa miliki ya Mungu mpate kusitangaza badhili zake yeye aliyewaita mtoke gizani mkaingie katika nuru yake ya ajabu ninyi mliokuwa wa kwanza si taifa Bari sasa ni taifa la Mungu mliokuwa amkupata lema bari sasa mmepata lema wapenzi na wasihi kama wapitanji na wasafiri ziebukeni tamaa za mwili zipiganazo na roho muwe na mwenendo mzuri katika kati ya mataifa ili wapo huu wasingizia kuwa watenda mabaya wayatazamapo matendo yenu mazuri wamtukuze Mungu siku ya kujiliwa amen Let my first words be words of praise and glory to our heavenly Father. Wacha maneno yangu ya kutanguliza yawe maneno ya kumpa Mungu tukufu na sifa. Who is worthy of our praise? Ambaye anavaa sifa. Who is worthy of our worship? Yule ambaye anafaa kuabudiwa. Who is worthy of the devotion of our lives? Yule ambaye anafaa kupewa ibada yetu. And above all else we come together today to celebrate him to worship him to honor him now of course we honor our esteemed guests what a privilege, what a privilege to have you here and I feel honored to be able to open the word for a few moments in your presence I'm sure you will appreciate that I don't know when I will be back. So I have to take this opportunity to say to my salvationists everything on my heart. Because I don't know when I'll get to do it again. I appreciate your patience and indulgence. My brothers and sisters, the word of God that was read for us this morning was written to help believers remember who they were and why they were here. Peter the writer says, I want to remind you believers that you are a holy people. Regardless of what the world might say about you, the truth is you are a royal priesthood. A holy nation, a people belonging to God. Why do we want to dance and sing and praise today? 
Because we believe and understand that we are a people who belong to God. Kwa sababu tuelewa kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tunamjua Mungu. We are his children. Sisi ni watoto wake. He has redeemed us. Ametukomboa. He has restored us. Ameturejesha. He has brought us into his family. Ametuerejesha katika familia yake. He has spilled blood of Jesus on the cross. Ameweza kufanya kwa wana kitu kwa. This is our identity. Hii ndio tutambulisho chetu. We understand who we are. Kuelewa sisi ni nani? We understand who we belong to. Kuelewa tunamjua ni zile wa kina nani? We belong to the King of Kings. Tunaudhisi ni wa mfalme wa mfalme. The Savior of the world. Ambaye amekungoa ulimwengu. And he has made very precious promises to us. Na ameweka ahadi za ajabu kwetu. Guidance and power and wisdom and enablement. Nguvu, neema na kila kitu. He has promised these things to his children. Amewaidi kwa watoto wake. And he has promised us an eternity in his presence. Ametuahidi umilele. This is the God we celebrate. Huyu ndiye Mungu tunayesherehekea. This is the God we worship. Your excellency. Rais. I have to tell you. Nataka kuambia. disappointed. Because usually when salvationists hear these things, there's much bigger amens and much louder hallelujahs i think they're just a bit reserved but i'm going to warm them up washiriki wa jeshi la kovu wana nafasi ya kupiga sifa na kile a people who belong to god watu ambao wana wa mungu we are the recipients of his grace and his mercy and his love sisi ni watoto wa neema wa nguvu zake we are a people of promise sisi ni watoto wa ahadi now The writer says this was for a purpose. Indio hadi. This was for a reason. Indio sababu. We want you to understand your identity so you can understand what you're supposed to be doing while you're here. Ujitambue, ujue wewe ni nani, niuelewe kwa nini uko hapa. The Bible says, Biblia inasema We are a people belonging to God. Sisi ni watu wa Mungu that we might declare his praises. Biposa tukatambue sifa zake. We are to be a people of praise. Sisi tunahitaji kuwa watu wa sifa. We are to be a people who look for any and every opportunity to give praise and glory to God. Biposa tuwe na kila nafasi kumpa Mungu sifa na utukufu. God calls on those who are his children to lift up his name in praise. Mungu anaita walio watoto wake wainue sauti zao katika sifa. To give him adoration. Kuweza kumpa vigelegele. To give him glory. Kumpa utukufu. To give him our allegiance. Kumpa pia nguvu pia ali zetu za ibada. To look for any and every opportunity. Kutafuta kila nafasi to point to the god of our creation kumusifu kwa ajili ya uumbaji wake the god of our salvation mungu wa uokovu wetu a people belonging to god watu ambao ni wa mungu that we might declare his praises tukaweze kutambua sifa zake how important it is for us to understand our identity riposa tuelewe sisi ni nani so that we might understand what our purpose is on the planet riposa tuelewe sababu zetu as we celebrate As we celebrate 100 years of mission and ministry in the Salvation Army. Of course we give glory to God for all that's been accomplished in the past. Tunampa Mungu sifa na utukufu kwa yote ambayo umetenda katika jeshi la wokovu. We thank God for every person helped. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa kila mtu yote alisaidia. We thank God for the opportunity we have had to lead thousands of people into the kingdom of God. Tunampa Mungu sifa kwa nafasi ya kuleta wengi katika ufalme wake. We thank God glory for all of the victories in the past. Tunamia Mungu sifa kwa sababu yote ambayo umetendeka. We thank God even today for the display of his hand upon the Salvation Army by evidence of the people who have gathered here to worship. Kumpa Mungu utukufu kwa jinsi vile ametenda ambayo inaridhishwa wazi na watu waliokaa mahali hapa. But you know I've been thinking and reflecting about the Salvation Army of the future. Kwa hivyo tunawaza na kufikiria kuhusu jeshi la wokovu la fast changing world. Katika ulimwengu unaobadilika The challenges are immense. But so too are the opportunities. Lakini kuna nafasi. And I've been asking myself, who is it that God would have us be? Who is it that God would have the Salvation Army be 
as we march into the next 100 years. Mungu atakuwa namna gani ama atatusaidia namna gani tupewe katika ule uso maisha siku za usoni. I've come up with four or five things. Nimekuja na mambo mawili matano. And I'm going to share them with you as quickly as I can. Nitaweza kushiriki nanyi kwa haraka iwezekanavyo. I'm describing for you the salvation army that I humbly want to lead. Jeshi la wokovu na jeshi ambalo ningelitaji kuliongoza. The salvation army going forward that I want to be a part of. Jeshi ambalo nasonga mbele ambalo nataka kuwa moja wapo hiyo. Here they are. Just quickly. First one. Of course. I want us to be a people of praise. Nataka tuwe na watu wa sifa katika jeshi la. A people of praise. Watu wa sifa. Now listen up Salvation Army. I don't want you just to praise him on Sunday. Sitaki katika jeshi la wokovu usifu Jumapili peke yake. I want you to praise him on Monday through Sunday. Nataka usifu Jumapili. I want your whole life to be wrapped up in praise. Katika maisha yako umsifu Mungu. I want you to look for any and every opportunity to give God credit. Nataka nitafute nafasi yote nipe Mungu sifa. To give God praise. Tumpe Mungu sifa. To honor him. Kuweza kumheshimu. To glorify him. Kumheshimu. To speak up his name. Tuweza kunena neno lake. Salvation army we have a privileged opportunity we're so visible. Hiyo ndio jeshi la wokovu ambalo nakusudia hapo siku za usoni. Let's use our visibility to give praise and glory to God. First thing. Second thing. Second thing I'm moving really fast now because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Second thing, I want a salvation army to be an army of prayer. Nataka jambo la pili nataka liwe jeshi la maombi. We need to be a praying army. We tunahitaji kuwa jeshi la kuomba. Before we advance, we need to be an army that's on its knees. We need to understand that there is power in prayer. Tuahitaji tuelewe kwamba kuna nguvu katika maombi. We need to understand that God and heaven moves when his people call out his name. Tuelewe Mungu na wakati ambapo ana utembezi wake katika watu. God abides in the presence of the praises and prayers of his people. Mungu huja katika maombi na sifa za wana wake. Listen to me salvation army if we're going to be effective in the next 100 years. Ili ndilo jeshi ambalo naomba liwe katika miaka 100 ijayo. We have to have an increased reputation for being a people of prayer. Ya kwamba tuwe watu wa maombi kama jeshi. Pray, pray and omba, pray some more. Omba, omba, omba. Do not stop praying. Tuwe watu wa maombi. Pray without ceasing. Uomba bila kukoma. If we get a reputation for anything, let that reputation be that we are a people of praise and we are a people of prayer. Ya kwamba tuwe watu wa sifa na watu wa maombi. Are you with me? Tuko pamoja? Do I hear an amen? Unasikia? Do I hear a yes? A people of prayer. Come on. Kuna watu wa maombi. God answers prayer. Mungu ujibu maombi. God responds to the prayers of Mungu his people. Mungu ujibu maombi. God will move amongst us with power. Mungu atatembea na utembezi wa nguvu sana. If we will humble ourselves and pray. Tunapoingia katika maombi. The resources of heaven are promised to us. Hizo ndizo hadi ametupa. If we will bow the knee in prayer. Tunapopiga magoti na kuomba. Oh, come on. Let's be a people of prayer. Tuwe watu wa maombi. Let's be a people of the word. Tuwe watu wa neno. I've only got a couple more. It's good. We'll be okay. Let's be a people of the word. Tuwe watu wa neno. As we march into the next 100 years. Tunapoenda katika miaka 100 ijayo. Let's gain a reputation. Tupate hiyo nafasi for being people who know the word of God. Watu kama watu ambao wanajua neno la Mungu. Who apply the word of God to our lives. Na watu ambao wanaweza kulishiriki neno hilo. Let's not just be a people who read the word, let's be a people who do the word of God. Tusiwe watu wa kusoma neno lakini watu watendao neno. Who apply the scriptures to our daily lives. Watu ambao wanaruhusu neno linene jambo maishani. Men of women of faith and courage. Tuwe watu wa people who praise watu wa sifa people who pray watu wanaomba people who meditate on the word of god watu wanaotafakari neno la mungu 
and apply it to their lives. This is the Salvation Army I want to be a part of. This is the people of God that I want to be a part of. Praising praying and reading the word of God. Sifa kuomba na kusoma neno la Mungu. Here's the next one. And this will come as no surprise to anybody that knows anything about the Salvation Army. As we march into the future, tunaposonga mbele, we have to ensure tustahili kuhakikisha that we remain a people of proclamation. Watu ambao wanaweza kutambua na kunena. That, that is that we are a people who are willing, ready and excited about sharing the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The word of God says to us always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in you. Na Biblia ikasema kwamba tuwe na sababu ya kushiriki lile ambalo Salvation Army right from our very beginnings when all we had was a drum. We would march out onto the streets to tell people that God loved them and that Jesus was the proof. Ili ndilo jeshi la wakovu ambalo tutahitaji ambalo tutatembea mitaani na vijijini kuambia watu Yesu anawapenda. As we march into the future let's recapture our passion for sharing the good news of God's love in the person of Jesus Christ. Hiyo ndio maisha ya usoni ambao tunahitaji tushiriki ya kushiriki upendo wa Mungu na ile imani ya Kristo. Or are proclaiming people. Ambayo ni wokovu. We are the people who belong to God. Sisi ni watu ambao ni wa Mungu. He calls us to be a holy people. Anasema kwamba tu watakatifu. Every president wants to know that his citizens are pursuing holiness of life. That they want to be clean and pure and righteous and godly and honorable and honest. Kila rais anahitaji kuona kwamba watu wake wana hizo hadhi zote mtu ambaye ni mtakatifu, mta Mungu na wao mtu ambaye anaendelea vema. The nation of Kenya should be able to rely on the Salvation Army and every member in it. Taifa la Kenya na kwa taifa malo ni jeshi la wokovu holy people watu ambao wana takatifu clean Watu in kwa. word thought and deed wasafi katika hosia maneno na fikra Salt and light in the world Watu ambao ni chumvi na mwanga ulimwenguni the aroma of christ Watu the, f- the fragrance of goodness Watu ambao kila wakati wanatoa uzuri this is the salvation army Hii that we are la wokovu We are a holiness movement. Ya kwamba sisi kama ile kanisa. We believe that God the Holy Spirit can transform the heart of a man and a woman and make them clean. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu anaweza geuza mioyo ya watu na wafanye kuwa wasafi. We believe that it is possible to walk the world in white. Ya kwamba tunaweza tembea ili neno katika mavazi yetu meupe. Not just white on the outside. Kwa sababu ya mavazi meupe. Right on the inside. Si ati ya kwamba weupe nje lakini weupe hata ndani. A holy people. Watu watakatifu. A people who belong to God. Watu ambao ni wa Mungu. This is the salvation army. Hili ndilo jeshi la wokovu. This is the movement I want to belong to. Hili ndilo a holy movement. Kanisa mbalo mtakatifu. Dedicated and surrendered to the control of God. Kanisa ambalo limeruhusu Mungu alitawale. For his glory, kwa utukufu wake, for his kingdom, kwa ufalme wake, and for the good of the people. Na katika hali ya kuhudumia watu. People belonging to God. Watu ambao wana wa Mungu. My last one. Ya mwisho. I'm almost done. Almost finished. Hallelujah. Last one. Ya mwisho. Salvation army. Yes. We have a reputation that has guided us over the last 150 odd years. Jeshi la wokovu kuna jambo ambalo limetembeza miaka 150 iliyopita. We we are a serving people. Tunahudumia watu. We are a caring people. Tuna watu ambao tunza. We are a people that are not only concerned about our own interests but we are concerned about the interests of others. Ni watu ambao tushughuliki yetu pia tunashughulikia wengine. We have a motivation and a bias kuweza kuhudumia waliona njaa kuweza kuweza wapatie ngoma kupenda wasiopendeka 
kuweza kuhudumia wote we have a motivation to care for the least the lost and the low tuna msukumo kuhudumia waliopotea na salvation army we are going to be into the future we will not honor god we hold on to this principle that we are here to serve ya kwamba kama jeshi la wokovu miaka usoni tuko tayari kuhudumia ya kwamba upendo wa Mungu tunataka tuonyeshe kwa watu nje katika hali ya kuhudumia na kuweza kuwashughulikia we will serve the stranger in love because god's love compels us to do it hivyo ndivyo Mungu anavyotaka tutende katika hali ya kupenda wengine now i don't know what kind of salvation army you want to be a part of in the future ili ndilo jeshi ambalo ningetaka kuwa nalo msikizo sio ya kwamba hilo ndilo jeshi ambalo natabazamia leo usoni a praising praying people of the word ya kwamba jeshi la sifa la kuomba la kusoma neno a proclaiming people ready to share the good news of the love of jesus na jeshi ambalo nahudumia katika ali ya kushiki upendo wa Mungu na wengine a holy people kanisa takatifu dedicated to bringing glory to god ilaji jitolea kuleta tukufu kwa Mungu and a people whose genuine desire it is na ile tamani ile kwamba to serve others kuhudumia wengine the bible tells us that the most effective way for us to demonstrate our love for god biblia inasema kwamba njia iliyo dhana kabisa kuonyesha upendo wetu is to demonstrate love for our fellow men ni kuonyesha upendo kwa wenzetu when we serve them tunapohudumia we worship him tunamwabudu na hallelujah hallelujah i have finished my sermon nimemaliza ujumbe wangu that's it that's all i have for you i'm grateful to all of you for taking the time to listen this morning ningelitaka asubuhi ya leo uweze kuanza pamoja but i have one final act lakini jambo la mwisho you know what i've been saying tumekotsema that's the kind of army that i want to dedicate myself to going into the future ili ndilo jeshi ambalo nataka nitolea siku za usoni and if anything that i have said this morning ikiwa kuna jambo lile ambalo nimetaja asubuhi ya leo resonates with you ambalo nafanana na wewe and you are saying to yourself this morning general unasema asubuhi ya leo general that's the kind of army i want to be a part of ya kwamba ili ndilo jeshi ambalo nataka nusike nalo if that's you kwanza wewe i want you to stand nataka usimame i want you to stand nataka usimame if that's the army you want to be a part of ya would kwamba... you stand right where you are you don't have to come anywhere just stand Sima... right where you are simama mahali ulipo usije mbele you're saying, saying general count me in i no. want to be a part of that army no. i want to be that kind of soldier ya kwamba general mimi nitakuwa askari mwaminifu the people belonging to god watu ambao wana wa mungu tc Have a look at your people look around look around you angalia here they are ndio hawa men and women who by faith belong to god wanaume na wanawake ambao wanamtegemea mungu declaring on this celebration anniversary day katika ali ya sherehe za centenary that they identify with the army i have described wanajitambulisha na jeshi hili so let me pray for you wacha niombe na nyinyi god our heavenly father baba wetu wa mbinguni look at your children angalia wana wako bowed in your presence ambao wameinamisha nusu za mbele zako standing here as an act of intentional dedication katika wakiwa wamesimama katika ya kuonyesha kwamba wataendelea kujitolea ready to be an army of praise waweze kuwa jeshi la of prayer maombi of the word la neno ready to be an army that shares the good news of the gospel jeshi ambalo nashiriki neno la Mungu na wengine ready by the help of your holy spirit ambao uko tayari katika hali ya kusaidiwa na Roho Mtakatifu to be a holy serving people wakaweze kuwa watu ambao wana utakatifu kwa kutumika anoint us all tupe mafuta yako sisi wote with your holy spirit 
and empower us to be an army that brings you glory and extends your kingdom. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Let's do it for the king. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you, General. Let's give a cup, clap of offering to Jesus. A clap of offering to Jesus. General, count me in. Count me in. May Ebu Kila Moja Asemene Nohilo. Count me in. Shout it again. Count me in. Thank you. Kwa mda uo kidogo, tunashukuru mungu, tunaandelea vizuri, lakini kwa sasa ile kundi ngojea kidogo, tunitawaita. Nataka nifanya jambu moja kidogo hapa, na kisha tuendele, kila mtu wakijua kwa mba program yetu, bado ni ndefu haija kamilika, au nisikutie, Uh, wasiwasi sana ni kwambie bado program yetu ni ndogo tutakamilisha baadaye lakini sasa tunataka kuwa na nafasi fupi ya kuweza kuingia upande wa serikali yetu maana tunamheshimu rais wetu tangu kuchaguliwa kwake naamini kwamba rais unafahamu ya kwamba jeshi letu ama jeshi la wokovu ni ini, jeshi ambalo hutalisikia kwa siasa ikiwa utapata mmoja wetu yako kwa siasa ni yeye kupenda kwake utatupata tukisema ni mkono wa kulia ama ni mkono wa kushoto sisi huwa katikati we are neutral and that is our stand now ingawa hapa wako ndani wa upande zote pande zote wako lakini wakija ndani ya kanisa wanafahamu msimamo wetu nataka niseme neno lingine ya kwamba tulikuwa tumeomba nafasi ya kutembelea ofisi yako tarehe 21 tuwalete viongozi hawa lakini wanaondoka kesho hawana nafasi ya kufika bado naomba hiyo nafasi kama ingewezekana tutengewe na tupangiwe tufikie kwa ofisi yako ili tukuambie maneno yetu Maneno yetu sisi hatutasema mbele ya watu. Sisi tunataka tuje tukae na wewe tukwambie vizuri ikiwa tunataka gari, tunataka lori, tunataka basi tukwambie wewe peke yako. Ukisikisa na wewe ni baba yetu, twajua utatusikiza. Basi kwa sasa nataka nimlete Michael Kitonga kwa ajili ya nafasi hiyo. Tafadhali Michael Kitonga. Welcome. Okay, I accept a correction there. I'm requested we first of all do our offering because the president once he comes to us, he wants to make sure he's heard the word of God and he has done his offering and that is a good thing. Thank you for being a God-fearing president. God bless you. Media mutoka njo hapa na fasindogo yako kwa jili ya kutuwa sandaka. Karibu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Ni nafasi nzuri sana kwa kila mmoja wetu tukaweze kusongea mbele zake Mungu tukiwa na sadaka ambazo ni shukurani zetu. Makadeti wetu wako tayari watakuwa kila mahali ni kwa ajili ya kuokota sadaka zetu. Kwa hivyo tuwe tayari na tukaweze kumtolea Mungu sadaka ambayo itaweza kuguza moyo wake Mungu atubariki sana. Ukiwa ni mtano maalumu sana 
wa kusherehekea miaka mia moja ya jeshi la wokovu katika territory hii ni siku ambayo inafaa tukamshukuru Mungu kwa sadaka zetu na tufanye vizuri kwa hivyo mahali ulipo watakuja watawafikia mahali mulipo na tutaongozwa na band wimbo ambao tutaanza nao ni wimbo wa namba 189 unaosema sasa bwana najitoa kutoka pale wataendelea mpaka tuone ya kwamba tumemaliza jambo hili la kutoa sadaka kwa hivyo fungua mfuko wako ufanye vizuri na tutabarikiwa pamoja band karibu sorry kabla bandi uh, ningependa niombe ili tuendelee kutoa sadaka zetu tuombe baba wetu wa mbinguni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakushukuru ni kwa sababu ya siku hii njema siku ambayo umetuleta pamoja kutoka katika kila sehemu ya teritori ya Kenya East ili tukaweze kuwa na sherehe hizi la kuweza kukushukuru na kulinua china lako ni kwa sababu ya mambo makuu ambayo umetendea kanisa lako hivi sasa baba tunakushukuru ni kwa ajili ya ibada hii maalum na umefika wakati ambapo tunataka kutoa sadaka zetu tunakualika Mungu wa mbinguni ukaweze kupokea sadaka zetu kila mmoja ambaye atanyosha mkono wake ni kwa ajili ya kusimama na kazi yako naamini ya kwamba utambariki na zaidi utakutana na mahitaji yake tubariki na utuongoze chukua nafasi ubariki kila mmoja katika nafasi hili na ni kwa Kristo aliye bwana akisha mwombezi wetu amen mungu atubariki sana karibuni band bwana no jito yo maisha kwa ku sa bwana na jito Moyo maisha kwako pendo lako la nivuta kutoa hivyo Bwana na kuleta haba iwe yako na ima kutunzwa na wewe sasa wako kabisa haleluya haleluya najitoa moyo kwa bwana kwa damu na wokofu wako kabisa bwana ndipo hapa sasa Mapenzi na utwae pendo la kola nivut Maisha na kutole diri kuwekea mote vyangu viwe vyako sasa milele haleluya haleluya toa moyo kwa bwana kwanda muni na woko kwa kosalama Nia to e maisha damu yako ukomboa safi kabisa unjionyeshe Mungu wangu mwenye nguvu mapenzi unitunze hata kufa kisha mimi haleluya haleluya 
na jito amoyo kwa bwana kwanda muni na woko kwangu salama bandi wataendelea tukiendelea kutoa sadaka Sante wanabendi kwa kutuongoza kwa kipindi hicho. Najua tulikichukua kwa haraka kwa hivyo wale ashers walikuwa bado hajafika kule vizuri. Lakini kama mnasikia sauti yangu naomba mpate kuendelea uendelee katika nafasi yako ya kuendelea kupokea amana wengine kutoa zaka zao maana naona sandaka zao maana naona kule juu bado inazunguka. Uh, ipate kuendelea na msisimamishe alafu mtafanya kama vile mlivyo ulizwa kufanya na mlipopewa muongozo wa kufanya hivyo kwa hivyo tunapoingia kipindi kingine aimaanishi angalia aimaanishi ya kwamba tumefunga kwa hivyo twaomba muweze kuendelea mahali ulipo wewe asha kwa ajili ya kumalizia mambo ya kutoa sandaka zetu Ukimaliza uchukue nafasi yako ya kuelekea mahali ulikoulizwa uelekea Asante naona wengine wanapita pita imaanisha wamekamilisha Kwa hivyo kwa sasa nimeweza kuulizwa Niweze kumleta His Excellency the Governor of Nairobi Honorable Sakaja ili aweze kusema machache na baadaye kutuletea rais wetu. Karibu Governor. Sana Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. God is good. And all the time and that's his nature. Wow. The general General Lyndon Buckingham and Madam Browning Buckingham, welcome to Nairobi. We are very honored to have you in Nairobi. And I'm sure the president will welcome you to Kenya. I can only welcome just till here. Just still in Nairobi. And thank you so much for your service. Thank you so much for that sermon. This is a beautiful celebration for the Salvation Army. And today we'll go down in our history of Nairobi as being proud to have hosted this celebration of a hundred years right here at Ulinzi Sports Complex. <laughs> your Excellency, if you may allow me and our General and our territorial commander to just recognize a few leaders who have also come to celebrate. They will not say something. Um, they will not uh, get an opportunity to speak. I'll just recognize. Um, I have seen our former minister, Kazungu Kambi, is here. Tumpigeni Makofi. Naona yule alikuwa mtangazaji wetu 
wa rais aliyestaafu eh, Mwai Kibaki Sami Lui hako hapa alikuwa mtangazaji kwa miaka mingi Naona pia tuko na wawakilishi wodi kutoka Nairobi wa VMCs eh, Mheshimiwa Cecilia tuko na Mheshimiwa Mofaya huu ni MC wa Kayole Central tuko na Mheshimiwa Wairia kutoka eh, Kayole North eh, Ward Tuko na mweshimiwa Virginia kutoka hapa Langata. Na amekuja pia na apologies ya mbunge wa hapa uh, Langata anaitwa Jalas. Tuko na uh, Dr. Damaris ambaye ni director wa Kemri. Na tuko na mweshimiwa Edith Nyenze kutoka Kitui. I think she is a sal salvationist. Asanti, asanti sana. This is indeed a great day for us. I am honored that you invited us, that you invited me to be part of this celebration. Mimi nimekuwa karibu sana na Salvation Army. Kwetu kule nyumbani, nyumbani Nairobi lakini nyumbani zaidi, Salvation Army kweli imekita kambi kule Western. Huko ndio ina inavuma. Si ni kweli? Na hapa nimeona watu wetu ya Kakamega, watu wa Vihiga, watu wa Busia muko hapa karibuni sana na watu wa Bungoma pia wako hapa Mheshimiwa Dan Wanyama tulizungumza naye asubuhi alileta apology zake lakini alikuwa katika celebration ya territory ya West um, hapo awali Najua pia nikiona Mheshimiwa Nyenze kule ukambani pia ime, iko na mizizi ya Salvation Army Najua tuko na watu wa Kitui Tuko na watu wa Machakos, Masaku, tuko na watu wa Makweni ama hawako. Na najua nchi nzima Salvation Army ilianzia kule Pwani. When you look at the history of a Methodist preacher called William Booth who is the founder of the Salvation Army and who sent a telegram with just one word others that one word telegram is the foundation of the Salvation Army of thinking about other people and thinking about society. I am so drawn to the work you've done in this country. You have shown kindness, you have shown great service. Our thicker school of the blind has been a beacon of hope for so many Kenyans who had lost hope previously, that they can go there and get an education, they can go there and they can secure their future. I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you because I have heard the sermon. The sermon has said a people of service, a people of praise. First of all, a people of praise, you cannot have space to be a complainer when you're a person of praise. Watu wasifa hawez kuwa watu wakulalamika. So kanisa yetu pia isiwe watu wa kulalami, kulalamika. Hata wakati mambo ni magumu tuwe na imani kwa Mungu na tumpe sifa. Pia tuwe watu wa maombi, a people of prayer. Na Romans inatuambia 13 that all authority comes from God to muombe rais wetu. Let us pray for our president. Let us keep praying for his government. If you are a person of praise and a person of prayer, you will understand the task that the president has and you will commit him daily before God. And your excellency, we thank you because you have really tried. We have seen the shilling is gaining strength. Mambo ilikuwa mbaya hapo awali. Tunaomba sasa mambo yendele na mna hiyo. Tunafurai tumekua na mazao kubwa sana kwa mashamba yetu. We've had an, a harvest. Last year, our president led us, uh, Bona, uh, General, our, pre our president led us in prayer, national prayers, at Nyayo Stadium to pray for rains. We had had the longest drought of 40 years. Many people laughed at us that what are you praying for? That is an, an issue of nature. It is not an issue of God. The president went down on his knees. He is not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. And we got rain. And we got a bumper harvest that this country has never seen because of the power of prayer. A people of the word, 
during this time when we have so many fake preachers si tumeona wengine wanaenda kando na neno la bwana let the salvation army stay as a beacon of hope being a church where we like the bereans in the bible always consult the word of god and a people of proclamation and a people of service wacha niwape encouragement kwa sababu mkifanyia watu kazi mungu hata wasahau waibrenia sita kumi inasema kwamba mungu hakosi haki yeye hata isahau kazi ambayo mliofanya na upendo kwa watu wake na ambao mnaendelea kufanya that god is not unjust he will not forget the good work you do for his people whom he loves and, the, and as you continue to serve his people so muendele na kazi hiyo sisi pia kama county ya nairobi tunataka tushirikiane na salvation army we want to partner with you unajua hata ukifanya kazi nzuri ya mungu kuna watu wale akina sanbalat na tobias ambao watapanda kuzidi kupiga kelele ukifanya kazi mzuri true religion that god considers faultless james 127 is looking after the orphans and widows in their time of distress and keeping yourself from nani anajua from from defilement from pollution to be polluted from the world you know religion ambayo mungu ana consider true salvation army is true religion but even as you do it there will be naysayers huku nairobi tuliona watoto wetu wengi wanakosa kwenda shule kwa sababu ya njaa tukazindua na rais majikoni ya kupikia watoto wetu tukajenga majikoni kumi. kila siku nairobi watoto 184000 wanapata chakula kwa shilingi tano peke yake taking care of those orphans lakini hata hivyo kuna wale kina Tobias wametupeleka kotini kuna wale bado wanatupigia kelele hawataki watoto wakule kwa sababu ya siasa tafadhali naomba salvation army muwaombe watu hao najua muombe sana waokoke na hiyo pepo mbaya ishindwe ishindwe kwetu tunasemanga riswa nikimalizia <laughs> we want to partner with you najua Nairobi Central kanisa yetu ya hapo town OTC e, yule my name sake Arthur Lord amenialika nitakuja najua mko na changamoto moja ama mbili kwa hiyo area yenu kumejaa matuktuk na kumejaa wachuuzi tunataka kuwe na mpangilio because our god is a god of order isn't it so i will come to fellowship with you mkiniona next time nimevaa white msinikeme munikubalie tu if you see me in white next time please the general please allow me our territorial commander kiama allow me ju napenda hiyo white na leo nilifikiri rais atavaa white unajua anavanga kaunda yeye uvaa ile kaunda yake kali ya kala white lakini leo Ajaiva. So your excellency welcome. This church has set a great example. I always admire the brass band that we have um, in the Salvation Army. You are an amazing amazing team. I hope mtakuja mfunze kanjo. Kanjo wetu pia tuwe na brass band kama yenu ya Salvation Army. Kwa hayo mengi hongera congratulations the territorial commander of uh, Kenya East and uh, madam thank you we will want to pay a courtesy call to you to see how we can partner stronger with the salvation army kwa sasa it is my privilege and honor kumwalika rais wetu tumpigieni makofi akija kutuzungumzia rais william samoe ruto asanteni asanteni sana tafadhali tuketi thank you very much our good friend and brother Lyndon Buckingham and your dear wife Browning on behalf of the government and people of Kenya let me take this opportunity i know many 
have already extended a warm welcome to you, but let me join them in welcoming you to Kenya. Karibu sana. My good friend Daniel and Anne Kiyama, the leadership of Salvation Army in Kenya, let me also take this opportunity to thank you for welcoming us to join in this great celebration of 100 years of great work done by the Salvation Army in Kenya. <clears throat> On behalf of many Kenyans who are beneficiaries of the generosity, of the good work, of the service of the Salvation Army, allow me to say a very big thank you and to wish you well as the Salvation Army family in Kenya and that you have the support of the government of Kenya as you do what you do in our country. Narudia tena kusema asante sana kwa wana Salvation Army wote. Nini mumekuwa kielelezo kizuri katika taifa letu. Mumefanya kazi ya kujitolea. Mumefanya kazi ya imani. Mumechangia sehemu kubwa kwa masomo ya watoto wetu. Kwa kueneza neno la mungu. Na hasa kwa huduma kwa wale ambao wako na mahitaji makubwa wakiwemo watu wale mavu. Mimi nasema kwa niaba ya serikali ya Kenya asanteni sana. And because you have demonstrated service to humanity, it is my prayer that God in his special way will bless this great church so that you can continue doing the good and great work that you have been doing in our country. As I have said, I want to assure you of the partnership and friendship of the government of Kenya and that together we will walk this journey of serving humanity as we serve God. Asanteni sana. Let me also appreciate the word of God that has been preached to us this morning. To Mefurai sana, you have spoken to our hearts that we are a chosen people, a holy priesthood set aside by God for his service. Na sote tujue ya kwamba kama wa Kristo, kama watu wanao mcha mungu. And I want to tell you our friend General Buckingham that we are as Kenya, we are unapologetic and unashamed about being a God-fearing nation. We believe in God and we believe that it is in God's divine and divine intention for Kenya to be a great nation. And we will work together as a people in unity as you lead a Salvation Army with your salute of unity. And I want to say to you, that salute speaks volumes to us as a people, that united we will overcome our challenges and together we will succeed as a people. It is not normal and easy to use these grounds 
of Ulimzi Sports Complex because it is a military place. But when the people manning this place were informed that it is not any other group of people, it is the Salvation Army. <laughs> It was very easy to admit you into these grounds and to use these grounds to celebrate the 100 years. Because in your ranks are majors and generals and colonels and superintendents. And it is easy to relate with the army. So, karibuni sana katika wanja huu. Lakini pia nataka ni waeleze kama ndugu wa Kenya kwamba kwa yale majukumu Mungu amewapatia na nafasi ya utumishi mlio nao na sote tukiungana kama wa Kenya sote tuliobarikiwa kwa njia moja ama nyingine kati ya watu wengi Kenya kuna wale wako na kazi wako na biashara wako na huduma wako na uh, ni watu wa wa wa, wa, umini, wa madhehebu zetu mbalimbali mbali. sote tujue ya kwamba matayo 25 35 mpaka 46 inasema kuna siku tutasimama mbele ya Mungu na pale tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tutapata nafasi ya kujieleza ni nini tulifanya katika dunia hii na mimi nataka niwaulize kwa sababu ukisoma hiyo taarifa inasema kutakuwa na watu vikundi viwili pande mmoja wa kushoto na upande mwingine wa kulia na kuna watu wataulizwa nyinyi mlikuwa na nafasi ulikuwa na kazi ulikuwa na biashara ulikuwa na uwezo lakini nilikuwa na njaa haukunipa chakula nilikuwa na baridi haukunipisha nguo nilikuwa mgonjwa haukunitembelea hata itaongezeka nilikuwa sina kazi lakini haukujali ndio mimi nawauliza wa Kenya katika madhabahu haya huyu jenerali Buckingham akiwa pamoja na sisi tujue ya kwamba kuna wakati tutasimama mbele ya Mungu na ndio sababu mimi nawauliza ndugu wa Kenya tulienda hapa Nyayo Stadium tukaomba Mungu atupe mvua Mungu akatupatia mvua Mwaka huu tena tayari tumeambiwa ya kwamba Mungu tena ametubarikia tutakuwa na mvua ya kutosha mwaka huu. Na kwa sababu hiyo tumeweka mpango mkubwa kama serikali ya kuzalisha chakula Kenya. Ndio wakati tukisimama mbele ya Mungu. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengi hawana chakula ya kutosha Kenya. Kuna wale hata katika ukumbi huu muko na nafasi muko na shamba muko na uwezo wa kuzalisha chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya mimi nawauliza nyote wa Kenya wote tumefanya mpango kama serikali tuko na mbegu tuko na mbolea na tayari tuko na mpango ya kutosha na wauliza nyinyi kama wakristo na wakenya wengine tupande 
chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya tuweze kuondoa njaa na tuweze kusimama mbele ya Mungu kwamba tulifanya jambo ndio wengine wapate chakula wasilale njaa wengi wananiuliza sasingine wewe unatusumbua sana na mambo ya housing wananiuliza kwani nani alikuambia tunahitaji manyumba nataka niwapeleke hapo kwa matayo 25 neno la Mungu linasema si ndio hatukukuwa na makao na haukutusaidia mimi sitake kusimama mbele ya Mungu niulizwe na nyinyi pia mlio na nafasi tuko na ndugu zetu wengi wanaishi katika vitongoji duni mahali kunaitwa slums na ni jukumu letu wewe ulio na ajira wewe ulio na biashara wewe ulio na uwezo tuweze kuchangia katika ile levi ambayo itatusaidia wa Kenya ambao hawana makao wapate makao ndio tukisimama mbele ya Mungu tuweze kusema sisi ambao tulipata nafasi tulikuwa tulichangia katika kuwapa wa Kenya wengine makao bure mambo yatakuwa mbele ya Mungu magumu sana na mimi nataka niwaombe tushirikiane katika harakati hiyo ndio tuweze kusaidia kuhakikisha ya kwamba tuko na makao na tuokoe wananchi wetu ya mwisho tuko na vijana wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya hata wale mmeketi katika ukumbi huu katika manyumba yenu kuna vijana wamemaliza shule wako na certificate diploma degree hata wengine lakini hawana kazi na ndio sababu tumesema kwa mara ya kwanza tunataka tuwe na mpango kama serikali ya ajira ya vijana kupitia kwa housing kupitia kwa export of labor kupitia kwa digital jobs kupitia kwa kaips na special economic zones na markets to expand mambo yetu ya manufacturing ndio vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya wapate ajira vijana wetu wasisome alafu wakaangaika madukani ama mijijini ama mitaani kwa sababu hawa vijana ni rasilimali yetu na ndio sababu hiyo na wauliza wa Kenya wote tuungane tushirikiane kwa sababu tukifanya haya mambo kwa pamoja inchi yetu itakuwa ni inchi ambayo itahakikisha ya kwamba hakuna mkenya anawachwa nyuma na tutafanya mapenzi ya Mungu tutaweza kusimama mbele ya Mungu na kusema tulifanya jambo watoto wetu wapate ajira tulifanya jambo tukatengeneza makao tulifanya jambo tukawa na matibabu na tulifanya jambo Kenya ikawa na chakula na tukasonga mbele kama watu wa nchi moja as christians i want to urge you you occupy a special place in god's plan as people who believe in god from different religions we have a special place in doing that which is god's plan for our nation and we must look and seek out ni mapenzi ya Mungu gani ndio tuweze sote tuungane na kutimiza mapenzi ya Mungu kwa ajili ya taifa letu la Kenya mwisho ni kweli nilikuwa nimepata maombi ya kukutana na viongozi wenu Jumatano lakini Jumatano nilikuwa na mkutano mkubwa kule eh, UNEP viongozi wa kutoka nchi tofauti tofauti walikuwa pale watu karibu elfu saba wa kutoka nchi tofauti nchi sitini na tano duniani kote walikuwa pale sikupata nafasi lakini nilijua 
tutakutana leo kwa sababu katika mpango yangu nilijua nitakuja hapa kanisani na kwa sababu mimi pia namaamini Mungu na ninaamini roho mtakatifu tayari amenijulisha yale mambo hawa viongozi wenu walikuwa waje wanieleze na si mnajua pia mimi ni rais wa Kenya na niko na maneno mingi ya kuelewa so tayari yale mambo yote wangekuja kunieleza niko na hiyo taarifa pengine ni seme nilishasoma barua ikiwa ndani ya bahasha kwa hivyo eh, nitapata nafasi eh, kesho kabla hawa ndugu wajaondoka wajaondoka niweze kuzungumza pamoja na wao ndio tuelewane vile tutasonga mbele pamoja lakini kwa sababu tayari mimi naelewa ni nini wana, wanakuja kuni eh, kuniuliza tayari nishakubali ya kwamba nitatoa shilingi milioni hamsini kusaidia ile kazi ambayo walikuwa wanakujia kama itazidi hapo watani, watanieleza kesho lakini ndugu watu viongozi wa Kristo wa Salvation Army tunawapenda sana tunawatakia baraka ya Mungu asanteni sana kwa kutukaribisha na Mungu awabariki siku zote thank you very much and god bless you asante 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 sana rais wetu tumeshukuru kwa maneno yako ya busara unajua wengi wetu tumebarikiwa mana sijawahi kukaa karibu na rais kidogo karibu na kushika mkono lakini Mungu amenipa neema leo nikashika mkono wako huwa nakuona kwa TV ama ukipita kwa hivyo nashukuru amen uh, tunataka tuseme ya kwamba tunaelewa kazi yako huwa nyingi sana hata kupata masaa machache kuja kukana sisi hiyo ni neema ya Mungu kwa hivyo mimi kama kiongozi wa territory ninakupa uhuru wakati wote ukitaka kuondoka unaweza kuondoka na utukubalie sisi tuendelee ukamilisha yale mambo mengine yalikuwa mebaki lakini unapoondoka kama utaondoka saa hizi itakuwa ni vizuri ni kusi off ni vizuri ni kusi off pamoja na mke wangu asante if you are living now michael utaninongonezea ikiwa anaondoka sasa hivi kwa sasa tunauliza ile united yule united kwa ile okay nimenongonezea kitu hapa na mke wangu um Asante sana Your Excellency Governor. Amesema amesindikisha na milioni moja kwa ile ambayo Rais ametamka. Asante sana Governor God bless you. Um Ninyi naomba mnapojipanga hivyo mngoje mjipange tu mjipange tu jipange Juliana panga watu wako vizuri mtaingia kwa hilo lakini kabla hilo nimejisikia roho wa Mungu ameinionyesha kwamba tu weze kuomba maombi maalum kwa ajili ya rais wetu rais our our president I'm asking our general to offer a word of prayer for you because we know you have a lot in this country moving around 
and I'm asking the general, I pray. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I will do that. Nilikuwa nimemuomba generali ya aombe lakini ameniuliza niweze kufanya hivyo kwa niaba yake. Hebu na tuombe. Mungu wetu na babu wetu wa mbinguni katika sherehe hizi zetu za miaka mia moja. Tuwashukuru kabisa kwa sababu rais wetu mpendwa alikubali mwito wetu na ameweza kuungana nasi katika ibada hii ambayo ni ya mwisho wa siku ya leo. Tukikushukuru pia kwa sababu tulikuwa na nafasi ya kuwa na our excellent our excellency first lady jana katika ibada ya wamama hiyo ni heshima iliyokubwa kabisa ambao ametupatia sisi kama wakina wokovu wa jeshi la wokovu rais wetu tunamkabidhi mbele ya madhabahu yako ukamuinue ukamtunze ukamuilinde ukamuhifadhi mkono wako wa ajabu upate kuwa juu yake wakati alichaguliwa tunaamini ya kwamba pia na wewe ulikuwa umemkubali na ndio maana amekuwa rais wa nchi yetu ya Kenya na tunamwombea tukikumbuka ya kwamba anayo majukumu mengi katika nchi hii changamoto ziko nyingi na ako tayari kulisaidi kusimama katika jeshi katika Kenya yetu na tunamwombea kabisa ili umpe hekima umpe ujasiri umpe uwezo umpe nguvu kwa ajili ya kuweza kuendelea kuongoza nchi hii umweke katika afya nzuri anapoendelea kufanya kazi yake akiwa na wale wote walioko chini yake tunawaombea ukawaunganishe pamoja ukawaweke pamoja wawe kitu kimoja pamoja na mawaziri na wale wengine wasimamizi wote wa usika waliopewa majukumu mbalimbali katika serikali yake hebu Mungu kawainue na kuwabariki na kuwajaza na uwezo wako ndio tunasherekea wema wako tunasherekea baraka zako za ushindi wa mvua ambayo imetuletea mavuno mengi tunasema asante asante kwa kuwa na kiongozi wa serikali wa nchi yetu ya Kenya kama huyu anayemcha anaya Mungu ukambariki yeye pamoja na mke wake maana Mungu wa mbinguni uliwateua na kusudi na lengo katika nchi yetu ya Kenya asante kwa sababu yake governor tunamkabidhi mbele yako Mungu wa mbinguni pia naye akabarikiwe na wewe pamoja na wote walio chini yake wape kuunganika pamoja wape kushirikiana pamoja kwa ajili ya Nairobi County kwa ujumla inchi yetu ya Kenya inuliwa na wewe ibarikiwa na wewe idumishwa na wewe isimamishwa na wewe na Mungu wa mbinguni ubaki kuitwa Mungu katika inchi yetu ya Kenya katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeomba na kuamini na watu wa Mungu tuseme amen. Amen. Mungu ambariki rais wetu wa Kenya. Amen. Na Mungu ambariki governor wa Nairobi. Amen. Mwendele kucheza iyo United tafadali as I see of the president.